Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. So glad to be gathered here today to recognize and celebrate the Burtonsville Elementary School PTA. They have been a fixture in East County, um, advocating for their students, for their teachers and staff, for their community. Uh, they are black-led, majority black, all-dad board, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> and uh, I'm glad to be joined with my colleagues on the Education and Culture Committee, so I'm going to give them a moment to say a couple words. Thank you, Councilmember Mink, um, Councilmember Will Juwando, Chair of the Education Committee, also a black dad. Um, uh, it's, I think, fitting that we got you in on the last day of Black History Month. Obviously, Black History Month we celebrate all year, but uh, it's really cool to be here with a, a, a great group that's done amazing things, which you'll hear about in, more in a, in a second when we read the proclamation. Uh, but one of the things that all of my colleagues care about is educational equity and access for all students. Uh, and P, uh, PTSAs are really important because they provide emotional, financial, other support to students in schools. Um, and we know that that's not done equitably for a whole host of reasons across our 210 schools. But this group behind us here and many others have said, we're going to do it anyway. Um, they've gone out and raised the money. They've supported their school. They've, made, they've advocated passionately at this uh, dais for improvements. And, and that deserves to be recognized and commended. So uh, we, we all are benefiting from it. And we want to just thank you and really excited that you're here today. So turn it over to Councilmember Albernaz. Thank you so much. I'm so happy Councilmember Mink uh, helped organize and facilitate this important proclamation as the proud dad of four kids who tries to set up tables and chairs and volunteers for as many school events as I can get to. Uh, I know the importance of making sure that we are active and present to support our school community. You can draw a straight line between schools that have engaged parent communities and the success of those schools. And it's such an impressive and important way to give back to our communities. So I really want to commend uh, these extraordinary parents for stepping forward and not just supporting their own children, but their peers and the entire Burtonsville community. I'd like to invite a couple members of the Burnsville Elementary School PTA to speak as well. Um, Brandon Conway is the president. Good morning, good morning. Um, we just want to thank the county council for having us here today, as well as I want to thank my PTA board and members, as well as our participants and our, our um, chair members. Um, this started as something that we uh, as, as fathers were asked to do by some of our wives. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we, yeah, voluntold. And so we, we had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. We just knew that we wanted to do small things like add technology, you know, organize and make sure that the handoff to the next board members would be, uh, you know, efficient. Well, we found ourselves in a situation where we talked to our principal, found out the needs of our school. We started to build um, different opportunities for our community to come out each and every uh, month. And eventually we found ourselves sitting at these tables here at the Board of Education and County Council advocating for, you know, various things uh, for Burnsville Elementary School. And so I just want to say that the journey has been lovely. And I thank you, uh, you know, the County Council for being great um, working with us. And I just want to once again thank some of our PTA members and um, our board for just being, you know, strong advocates and um, doing the work. Thank you, Brandon. And Henry Geringer is the treasurer of the PTA. Uh, thank you, Kristen, and thank you, Councilmen, Councilwomen. Definitely very much appreciate the light that you guys are shining on Bez with this uh, recognition of what we're doing. You know, when we first started this dad board journey experiment that we were going on, we were really just trying to improve upon some of the things that were done by our previous board. But we realized very shortly after that there were some issues that were much bigger in scope and scale that we were going to need to try to address if we were going to give our children the best chance to succeed. 
and we realized shortly after that as we started advocating that we had a pretty large community that would be willing to get behind us as we pursue some of these big and needed issues uh, as we have continue to advocate, we've realized that the issues in East County don't end at Burtonsville. And fortunately, the hunger and appetite to advocate for issues in East County as far as education is concerned is also not limited to us. So we look forward to continuing to work with our brothers and sisters in East County to make our area one of the best to raise a child in. So we think now is the time we have a tremendous team and we think we have great representation and council men, council women, we're not gonna lose your phone numbers. <laughs> Thank you. Please don't. <laughs> Without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and read the proclamation. <clears throat> Whereas the Burtonsville Elementary School Parent Teacher Association is a group of over 220 members who proudly elected an all-dad board and has organized and advocated for students, school staff, and the wider community, and... Whereas, B, uh, the Burtonsville, B, BEZ, excuse me, I'm gonna use your term, you, BEZ PTA advocates were able to help secure $150,000 for outdoor renovations, and... Whereas Bez BTA's president and vice president are also leaders of the Paint Branch Cluster, advocating for the schools within the cluster along with Bez, and whereas the BTA established beautification days for Burtonsville Elementary School, organizing the community to help keep school grounds clean and safe, and partnered with the local landscaping vendor that now provides landscaping services to Bez at no cost, and whereas Bez PTA. <clears throat> has organized the community by advocating for a new school. We're going to get that done. Push to solve the issue of overcrowding and helped implement a plan to address traffic safety concerns. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Council Members Kristen Mink, Will Jawando, and Gabe Albernaz, and the entire County Council of Montgomery County, Maryland, hereby celebrate the Burtonsville Elementary School PTA for its outstanding contributions to the vitality and excellence of our schools and our community.